All right, man, we are live out here, Carolina Rebellion 2016, with Dennis and Ben asking Alexander, how you guys doing? Doing really well. Good. Can't complain. Same old shit, different day. There, that, that's the thing, man. You guys have been around for a while, and you've been doing these kind of shows. Do you like the big festival setting, or do you like the more intimate club kind of settings like that? I mean, I love both, because festivals are cool. You always get to play a lot of people that don't even know about your band and all that stuff. You see how they react, and... That, that's the best part about it uh, and you meet a lot of friends because there's a lot of there's a lot of bands that we love and a lot of friends in the bands <laughs> anybody playing today that you guys have gone back and forth with you guys are good friends with anybody today oh yeah are you big friends with baby metal uh i've never actually even met them <laughs> I don't think yeah, I don't, i've not met them either well maybe later you can you can meet the 15 year old japanese girls it's no, no, they don't. But they can sing "Give Me Chocolate" really loudly, and that's that's about it. So uh, you got the new album out, "The Black." It's all it's all going well. Is everything uh, going positive with that? Has there been any pushback? Any kind of anything like that about it with the new singer and everything? Everything's good, it's man. It's like nothing ever happened. It's like nothing's changed. You know, it's good. Yeah, everything's everything's been really positive for sure. With a new singer, does that change the uh, does that change the sound or the writing process at all with your with your music? I mean, I'd say yeah, but the the thing is, Ask Guys Andrew with every album sounded different anyway. We progress and we change, and so it's not like it's not like a huge shock to the system. Everyone's like, "Whoa, who's this band now?" Like, it still sounds like Asking, but just a new version, you know. And you guys have had uh, some pretty big success, at least in America over here with the rock radio charts, and you're going up there and you got big hit singles. Have you made a whole lot of money yet? Have you blown your money on anything cool yet? You don't make money playing rock music anymore because no one buys records. They just download them illegally and they go, that's good enough. Um, so um, it's, it took me a while to save up for this shirt. <laughs> well, it is a nice shirt. To the, nice shirt. Uh, to, the, to the question of fashion, as a larger man, how do you not sweat your balls off in really skinny pants? I do. do you? It's not very comfortable. There's, is, there, is there a trick to it? Like, does, do you get shrinkage? Dick. Have a tiny dick and you're good to go. Well, there, there it is, man. Ask Alexander has a tiny dick, ladies, in case you were curious. Now we all know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to follow up a tiny dick comment, man. So I appreciate your time. Best of luck on the show today, guys. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, absolutely, man.